Hey everyone, welcome to the Warwick Dunn Charities Tomato Series. Over the next few weeks, we'll be releasing cooking demos that highlight tomatoes in quick and healthy recipes. Tomatoes are a summertime staple that you can get at grocery stores, farmers market, farm stands on the side of the road. And the fresher, the better for these recipes too. Today, we're at Life University with campus dietitian, Kathy Tillery, and Remy Koltek, a senior dietetics student. We are going to make some salsa. Salsas are great. I love them. They're quick, they're easy, they're made with fresh herbs, fresh vegetables, and are a great snack. They go with almost anything. You can top them on eggs, you can use them with rice and beans, and you can add them to other vegetables and much, much more. To make this salsa recipe, you'll need five to six fresh whole tomatoes, and we have diced them up here. Additionally, you'll have a can of petite diced tomatoes. I like to do the no sodium added. Um, we have fresh lime, which we'll be using the juice, fresh red onion, cilantro, and jalapeno is optional if you like it spicy, um, cumin, chili powder, fresh garlic, salt, and pepper to taste. This will make approximately one quart of the salsa and will keep in your fridge for at least a week. So what can you tell us about the benefits of salsa? So I love salsa because it is made with such fresh ingredients. We have tomatoes, for instance, which are high in lycopene, and they also have a great amount of antioxidants, phytochemicals, and vitamins and minerals. So what about um, red onions? So it's red natural. onions are great, um, but if you don't have red onions, a lot of us don't have them, we can substitute um, white onions are a good choice, or you could do also do green onions as another choice for these. Like Remy said earlier, with the um, canned tomatoes, a good choice is low sodium, especially if you're worried about high blood pressure. Low sodium is a great choice because it amount, limits the amount of sodium that you're putting in. With the jalapenos that um, Remy just added, those are optional. Some people like their, their salsa very spicy. Yep. Some people don't like their salsa very spicy. But when you're looking at those fresh ingredients and getting jalapenos off the fruit stand or your farmer's market, mm -hmm. look for the color of them. The real green ones are a little less spicy, whereas they start being wrinkly or having more color, like a red color, they're gonna be a lot more spicy in yeah. those. And again, Remy's adding salt, that can be to taste. Same with the fresh pepper and the cumin and um, the other powders that we're adding. Chili powder? Lots of chili powder. Yes. Chili powder. And with the lime, there's different ways that you can squirt the lime juice in. Remy's doing it with a fork. Yep. You can do this and you don't have to have a fancy lime press or anything like that. You can just take your fork, just be careful not to go too far through to your hand, but you put it in and you do a twisting motion. Are you twisting the lime or the fork? Um, actually, twisting the fork, you want to really get a good grip on the lime so it doesn't slide out of your hand. Let's yeah. do this. And then it'll get a little bit of pulp in there, which is fine. Yeah. That pulp adds a lot more flavor to it, I feel like. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. We're going to pulse it so it doesn't get totally blended up. And if you need to, you can stop and knock some of these ingredients down in your blender. And you can always add whole, you know, whole chunk tomatoes if you do like it chunkier. You can add that after the fact too. Add a little bit in there. Our salsa is done, so now we can try it with some tortilla chips. Makes a great snack. This is the fun part. Yeah, this is the part we love. All right, let's dig in. That's delicious. Mm. So I can really taste the cilantro and that mm -hmm. extra lime that you put in. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. gives it that extra little oh, to it. Lots mm -hmm. of flavor. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of jalapeno fresh spice. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us today. Make sure you like and subscribe to Warwick Dunn Charity's YouTube channel so you can get notified when our second tomato video drops. Just a hint, it's about bread and tomatoes. And let's dive in. Mm. So good.